Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a Coal Banker DNR Realtors. Well, if I've got my motorcycle jacket on, that means I'm getting ready to do a Realtor Rides Tour. And the community I'm touring today is Highland Estates. And the reason I'm out here is they are getting ready to open up a brand new section of half acre lots. Finding lots is getting really difficult to do in this area, so people are putting themselves on a list. So once the developer gets a green light to sell, either Imagine Home, Kindred Home, or Whitestone will be able to sell you those lots. So I wanna do this video so you can get an idea of what this community looks like, what the new section looks like. And if you're interested, give me a call so I can get you on this list. That list is filling up fast. Anyways, uh, let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, we're gonna start this video tour on the corner of Bornfeld Road and Highway 281. I was last here probably about Oh shoot, probably 10 months ago. And trust me when I tell you this, that Highway 2E1, once they've got that highway completed, a little further down, they've got a lot of it completed, but they're working their way up. But it has gotten so much easier to get access from this location to all the shopping and everything that's involved in the north section off 1604 going north and 281 so what we're seeing right now is still green but there is a santico's coming and what that's going to do and more developments coming up here it's going to create all this green space you see here more and more big box stores are coming hey, there's someone else on a tiger speaking of which uh i have a new motorcycle well i've had it for about three months but this is my first realtor rides tour it is the uh, it is a 2021 Tiger 900 GT Pro. Uh, I'm all about buying investments and having my money make money. But every once in a while, you got to splurge and uh, upgrade. So, got my top case on. I love all the bells and whistles on it. It's got the quick shifter, which is something I never knew I needed until I had it. Cruise control. Love the big giant display, and this bike rides like a dream. Absolutely love it. But this isn't a motorcycle vlog. Uh, this is the area because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go just up this road. And last time I was here, I was doing a realtor rides tour of Kinder Ranch. This time, we're gonna go just right down the street from it and hit Highland Estates. So, let me see if I can get out of here without getting ran over. Notice, not even using the clutch to switch gears. And uh, I like I had, while I was setting up there to start this recording, I did have like two people stop and it's like, are everything okay? So yes, everything's fine. I'm just trying to set up for a video, but uh, just kind of shows how friendly everyone is and looking out for each other. Now you can see off in the distance that is the new high school and those rooftops back there is going to be for Kinder Ranch. Um, there's not much left available in Kinder Ranch. There is a new section of Sunday Creek they're working on. I know um, Imagine Homes has a section on the ridge line. This can be pretty nice. But for the most part, um, Kinder Ranch is closed out. Um, Highland Estates, however, they're getting ready to launch a whole new section of those half acre lots I mentioned earlier. And I'm looking forward to it because you're, you still will have your, oh, let me get the right gear here. Um, you will still have your Highland Estates will still go to the elementary school right there in Kinder Ranch the middle school that's also right next to the high school and the new high school that's opening up uh, this this uh, fall so there are some of the signs for Kinder Ranch and where what this community is located at you got 281 now behind us and then if you keep going about I don't know say five miles down uh, Bornfeld Road here you do hit Blanco Blanco Road, not Blanco the Town. Blanco the Town is about another, I don't know, say 15 minutes north on 281. 
All right, here we are already at Highland Estates. Whoa, let me watch where I'm going. All right, this is a really nice community. It will be gated, but right now, because there's still construction on, they got the gates open. And the topography in this community is what really sets it apart. Uh, if you've got a good lot, that's great, because it gives you a really nice view lot and a good build site. You do, the two builders that are gonna be building here are gonna be Highland, not Highland, uh, Kindred Homes and Imagine Homes. That's gonna be the new Kindred Home model. And this is gonna be the upper level of both builders. They're both production builders. They're really good production builders. But in this new section, they're gonna be more of a semi-custom production builder. So you will not be able to come in and pick your own builder if you've got one of these lots. So it's just kind of picking your plan and we do a little tweaks to it, but it won't be a complete custom. But let's go ahead and go to the new section here. We can see they've already got some beautiful homes on these half acre lots. And this is the new section coming in. So we're gonna have some nice topography, some nice roads. Uh, and some of these lots are gonna be backing up some really nice view space once you clear out the underbrush. Now, I've done a little research on this area. There is another community that's been, an older community that's way down at the bottom of the hills. I drove it. Yeah, you're gonna see some uh, mobile homes in there, but every, actually everything's really well kept. But if you're on this section, uh, talking to the neighbors, you can hear a little music coming sometimes. But let me show you kind of what this view will look like. But yeah, that is a really nice view of the Texas Hill Country. The, I am filming this, it is late July, 2021. Every, there's quite a few people already on list to try to get in on these lots. So if you are interested, please reach out to me and I will get you on that list with both builders. I do have a plot map to show which builders are gonna have which lots. However, they don't know prices on these lots yet. So since they don't know prices, they can't tell you how much the house is gonna be. But uh, they're hoping to get the prices from the developer here real soon. A little tricky here. That was a little slicker than I thought it was going to be. But they've been out here working on getting these roads in. Beautiful area. Sorry, I'm not a... I'm still working on my off-road riding skills, so bear with me. But yeah, once again, if you had one of these lots, I'm not sure if those are even gonna be lots, cause that's a pretty good drop off right there. But there will be lots back in here. You can see some of the markers. There's some great view lots and some uh, lots might have the views out the front, some might have out the back. But all these lots will be half acre lots. And the reason I'm doing this video is because finding lots available in this part of Texas right now is the most difficult thing. The one acre communities of Bell Oaks, I think they're down to like two lots available. Hopefully this week I had a client that's gonna be selling their lot, but the scarcity of for good lots and the demand for good lots uh, really kind of driven up the prices a lot. Um, and it looks like I might be selling a lot in Vintage Oaks, but we're talking anywhere between 185 to $200,000 for those one acre lots. It's crazy how the prices have gone up in just the last year. 
but the demand for them has gone up and the availability has gone down so that's really driving the prices but you can see these are going to be some really nice lots here and there's another road that goes down to that uh other community i'm sure they're going to be doing some more work so getting on the list and jumping on these lots sooner than later is paramount because once they go live and start selling these they are going to go like hot cakes so timing is critical go show you a few more spots in the neighborhood but wow look at that views out there and you see there's the high school middle school back in the distance just some beautiful scenery out here there is no amenity center planned for highland estates it's just going to be availability because and half acre lots um, there's a lot of good production home communities but they're not going to be on half acre lots so you definitely if you're wanting one if you want a little elbow room this is something to really consider in a beautiful gated community there is another one acre community coming up uh, more information is going to be coming out on that. It's going to be called George's Ranch. It's going to be near Bernie, Texas. And I'm pretty sure those, well, I know for a fact, those are going to sell like hotcakes. It's the same developer that is developed, that's doing Esperanza. And I love Esperanza a lot because the amenities and uh, clo close proximity to Bernie but uh those one acre lots there's just not many of them i'm gonna go up here and kind of look at the that's what i call the high ground in this community looks like most of it's already sold out i know imagine homes has been building a few of their high-end products and uh imagine homes a great builder very energy efficient and Whitestone's going to be building out here. Those going to be the three builders that are building in this half acre lot is Kindred Homes, Imagine Homes, and Whitestone. Casa Domain was building out here and they still got a few homes available. But look at those homes. Those are beautiful and the views they have out the back side. I really like this side of the ridge just because the way the sun will be setting on the front of the house creating some space, some uh, comfortable living space on the back side. But these lots are all sold. I believe that's an Imagine Home going up. And I know that's a beautiful Casa de Main home being built talking to themselves rep he's gonna let me do a video tour of that as it gets closer just so I can add that to my portfolio but man you want a house with a view this is a great community there's only a few uh, really great communities in this area for views and this is one of them but you have to really nail down that perfect view lot Ooh, this house is for sale so speaking of which because availability is getting real scarce for new construction a lot of people are turning to uh, shopping for those pre-existing homes which is not a bad option there's still not a ton of availability of pre-existing I uh, was I'm running lists and stuff for folks and we're just talking about a handful it's just a matter of when something comes on the market you really have to be ready to pounce on it you can't do the let me think about it for a week um our market in this part of texas has been slowing a little bit but when i say that i have to preference 
just how bonkers it was last month and the three months prior to that. I'm talking about when a house goes on the market the first day they're getting multiple offers. Now we're seeing houses kind of sitting for a couple of days, but within now instead of the house being fully under contract within three days now we're talking about seven or eight days getting under contract so this house this community here this spot here is gonna be really nice especially if you had something like this lot here with the sun setting on the side of your house be some great views there and there you can see the back side of those houses Ooh, that's gonna be a nice little spot right there too so because they're half acre lots they're not packing them in like you would see on a standard production community Now these lots here can be really nice. You're not gonna have the view out the front, I mean out the back, but you will have the shade on your back and still be in the half acre community. So these are gonna be really nice. Look like fairly flat lots. Like I said, if you're worried about the kiddos, you will have an elementary school, middle school, and high school just minutes away. And great schools, because this is Comal ISD. Uh, this neighborhood is just outside of city taxes area, so property taxes, you're looking at around like 2.2, I believe, or right around there. It changes sometimes, but uh, might be 2.2. But man, look at the views in this community. Wouldn't be bad having to go to work and coming back and seeing these views every day. There's the Whitestone model home. Like I said, we just drove by Kindred's model home, which is coming here. And if you're looking at my videos, which uh, I hope you guys are, I did do a model home of the Kindred, or I did a video tour of the Kindred Bayless plan. That is, I believe, the largest plan that Kindred Homes builds. And that's the, I did that video because I wanted to show what level of home kindred is going to be building in this community that's their biggest one uh, i think it's like 4300 square feet it's a monster but uh they're going to be building smaller ones so if you're looking for something in the 2800 square feet range they can definitely do that out here and that keeps the price down a little bit i had i was talking to a sales rep on in regent park and i had a client that's looking for getting something done out here in the low 600s as in like 625 to 640 range and she feels confident that they can do that but they haven't released the prices yet so no promises but if you're looking for something in the low sixes to low to high sixes man this is not a bad place to be especially knowing that future stuff is going to be coming out here that Santigo's movie theater will have the uh, super fancy uh, movie theater experience where they bring you food, also arcades and bowling alleys. I mean, it, it's a high-end situation. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of this uh, Realtor Rides tour of Highland Estates. I hope you found it useful, and uh, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll keep doing more videos now that it's finally stopped raining here, because good God, we've had more rain this uh, summer than ever. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, and I will talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.